looking for a friend. Come on, buddy! I have a friend here today who's in the live taping. You have a friend here? I, at the taping, yeah. and I didn't, I didn't, I think it was just by coincidence. Oh, really? Stand up and wave right now. Oh, See is that? Hey, buddy! I miss you! Hi. Yay! We did Dear Evan Hansen together. Oh, and my I God. Seen Not too shabby. Hey, welcome. That's, welcome uh, to the show. That's Mateo Lascano. He was uh, one of our brilliant Evans, and he's that's a, a stunning performer. That's and awesome the thing, friend. but here's the, one of the things I love about you because I know you're an actor. We all know you from Stranger Things, and you're great on the show, and you're a good actor, and you're funny. Thanks, buddy. You can sing, buddy. You can. Ah, really, you're a Broadway. Thank you. You're a Broadway trained actor, and you can <laughs> sing. I mean, you're phenomenal. Thank you. I mean, it is insane. That's very nice. It always blows me away. Thanks. I love it. You're very, Thank very you talented. So Thanks. Uh, I, I, we have to talk about Stranger Things. Please. I think last time we were on the show, it uh, was about to, second part was about to come out. That's right. Couldn't That's say true. anything. And then you and you and our buddy, Joseph Quinn, and just Quinn, kind Joe. of won the internet there. Yeah. And, uh... I love that guy. Well, what, 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 do you, what, do you, what do you like about, like, when people come up to you and talk about Stranger Things? Do you just go, oh, yeah, it's cool, or do you... Of course That's it's fun. cool. I think it's just, it's interesting to constantly just be reminded how, how much people have resonated with it. I mean, it's something that's so important to, to all of us and has, has just been essential to like the, the growth that, that I had over the past, over all of my teenage years into, into my 20s. And it's like, it's the defining uh, aspect of the past 10 years of my life, practically, the past decade. So and when people insane. get moved, you go, yeah, I'm also moved too, because it's exactly. part of my life. Exactly, and I so appreciate the fact that, you, that at least I... something I've been a part of can can do that for people, it's it's uh, kind of still sinking in, I think. Yeah, and well, this uh, the la they're, they're wrapping it up. The, one more, yeah. One more, like, they're, is it, it's gotta be bittersweet. Of course it is, you know? I mean, there's kind of like a, uh, there's an excitement there, because you, you always want to wrap it up, and you want to see how how these characters are going to finally develop one last time and how they're how they're going to to finish their journeys but also it's just there's like a deep fear that's been like not only has it been amazing but it's been like pretty great job security <laughs> for, <laughs> for yeah exactly you're like now like, go, ah, what am I going to do no I got back to freelance uh, I, I, I'm going to I'm going to ball my brains out I'm gonna <laughs> be, oh, I'll be so sad but what, what, are, what are your hopes for Dustin what happens I don't know. I I think it's in the best hands it can be. Matt and Ross know these characters uh, better than I think we might. Uh, and it's really interesting because they trust us all very much to make our own decisions and, and go about the scenes the way we've we, what we've always instinctually wanted to. And uh, I've n I've never really given myself an opportunity to think of what they might want to do. And now is the best time to start. You know what I mean? Just really thinking about what can happen. I just I'd love to see a good launch pad for, for growth and, and I'd love to see these characters thrive and, and move on from the, the trauma they've endured over the past uh, You think? Yeah, years. yeah, just a little, yeah. Quite but a gosh, wild ride. Duffer Brothers, yeah, they know what they're doing. Yeah, right? they're, they're, they ain't shabby. Yeah, they're not too shabby, no, they're not too shabby. That's for sure. Uh, can I talk about something too, also, sure. we, we've mentioned a couple times on our show, but you work uh, with, closely with an organization called CCD Smiles. Yeah. Thank and, you so and, much for the plug. No, but you, you do so much for, for, for that organization, and I just want to say that's cool that you do Thank that. you. I noticed that, uh, you know, even when you're not on our show, you well, do Well, thank that. you. Yeah, can I you, love it. Can you maybe explain what, what that is? Sure. If, if anyone doesn't know what, the, what, the, what yeah, it is. Yeah, I think I, talk, I talked about it on the show before. CCD yep. Smiles, it's, uh, CCD is short for cleidocranial dysplasia. It's a condition I have myself, as well as many other wonderful people who I've gotten to meet. And uh, the, my main goal, of course, we're there to, to raise money for people can get the treatments they need, uh, which uh, can range from dental surgeries and... Uh, implants and things like that and can also, uh, there's a whole array of things that we're just figuring out that are associated with CCD. That's my biggest uh, goal is to let this organization be a beacon for people and for medical professionals so people can learn from those who are experiencing it. Start the conversation. That's, exactly, that's what's great. So you can't expect medical professionals and doctors to, to know all the answers. So it's, it's really quite a cool feeling when you can teach somebody who's, been, who's an expert in, in so many fields and help them learn and help them uh, treat patients better based on the experiences you've had. And Good that's man. what's really cool. You get, like my, uh, my family has a, has a bakery and we're doing this thing where uh, on ccdsmiles.org uh, and on our, our, on our bakery's website, Joe's Bake Shop, uh, you can buy like cookies and a lot of the proceeds will go to CCD Smiles. There you go. So, so check it out. Please. If you like food, 
If you like, yeah, we, yeah, we love them. I've had them before. Who's the great way to try them, people? Yes, indeed, I've, I've had them. them last time. I, I know, I love it. Yeah, uh, let's talk about Sweeney Todd. Yeah, sure. People are excited about this, buddy. Yeah. Me too. It's yeah. a big deal. It is. It's Back cool. on Broadway, and you've been doing Broadway most of your life. Yeah. Since I found I was a nine years old. Nine. Yeah. I found a photo of you signing uh, autographs no. backstage <laughs> at Broadway. This is, yeah. Look at this little guy. Palace Theater. Yeah. Oh boy. What's it like being a, being a kid, a Broadway kid? I mean, just I mean, I know there's a lot that goes, but you just you, it's bananas. Yeah. It's it, great. It's so cool. Uh, what are you like? Like say at karaoke? Like what if I? <laughs> Are you fun or are you karaoke. too good no, where I just go, no, I gotta leave? No, kids are never fun at karaoke because they're, like, everyone's there to like be drunk and have a good time. But like, Broadway when kids. Broadway kids are like in the bathroom, they're like, brr, brr, ah. they're like getting tea beforehand. And they're <laughs> like, warming, they're, like warming, warming up. up and they're like, ah, I can't blow it and I can't mess this up. Yeah, and, and some uh, other girl like, I'm a Barbie yeah. girl <laughs> in a Barbie world. And you're like, mm, mm, me, yeah. me, 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 me. We always like, we always like, the biggest damper on the night by doing like some like really sad ballad. And I was like, great, who's this guy? Everyone's like, like what, what would you, what would you like, do? I, uh, I, I, I sang, oh, there were a good number of them. I, my first song I ever sang was Fly Me to the Moon by Frank Sinatra. That was really fun. At, at nine years old? At, at six years old at this point. I remember wow. I, I did that, I had a fedora and everything. I did this little hat trick where I did like a flip and people just loved it. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah that thing. But uh, I did, <laughs> there was one time I sang Bring Him Home from Les Mis, which is like a beautiful song, but at karaoke night. <laughs> Like read the well, room. We dude. want don't yeah. We want don't stop believing. <laughs> we want, yeah. Exactly. Twinny Todd. What do people? Uh, what should people uh, think about no going into this? Oh, I love when people know nothing about a show going in. But oh. I, what I love about this production specifically is that lovers of this show, lovers of Stephen Sondheim, will absolutely adore it because it's 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 Sweeney bigger than ever. You yeah. know what I mean? It's back on Broadway, but it's it's a huge cast. Giant production. Twenty six piece orchestra. Uh, wonderful group of people that are just it, it's at, it's at this incredible size that it, it, it once was in 79 when it opened, or 1980, it was at when it opened originally on Broadway and we're back to that scale. And to just hear it ring out in, in the Lentfontaine, which is a beautiful theater, big house. And, uh, and directed by uh, Thomas Kale. Tommy Kale, indeed. Who did, brilliant. No big deal. He directed Hamilton. Well, just a yeah, little no, yeah, not a big deal. Yeah, I mean, yeah. people were excited about this. It's, it's uh, Alex Lacamoire supervising our music, who is just an absolute genius. He is actually a genius. Absolute genius. Worked on Hamilton with Tommy uh, and, and uh, Dear Evan Hansen, which I got to work on him with uh, but as well. If you haven't seen the player or know anything about this, I, I would. how do you describe it as a barber? Yeah, I think it's... Quite interesting. The the pitch was probably really interesting. It's yeah, like, how let's would you do... even ever pitch this? It's like it's 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 a classic, brilliant, powerful, booming musical that also combines like a slasher comedy, <laughs> and that's pretty wild to describe. But it's just quintessential Sondheim. When when you talk about his yeah. best works, uh, this is always talked about as one of the. The top three, if not like the the no, show, that's always it's just a, a, a it's barber brilliant. who murders everyone. If you a sit down in his barber chair, he kills you. It's not, and it's not even like a spoiler. It's called the Demon Barber of Fleet. Yeah, I'm like not, he's probably not the coolest. But he's he works. Then he works with a pie shop. Yes, indeed. To kind of help dispose of the bodies. <laughs> it's fun. It's, yeah, yeah, it's fun go, for the whole uh, family. It's everyone, great. check it out. It's going to be so much fun. Opening this weekend. We love you, buddy. Break a leg. Gabe Matarazzo. Winnie Todd is now playing on Broadway at the Lump on Time. Come see it. Theater. Yay. More Tonight Show after the break. Stick around. Hey, hey.